G'day guys, Clint here from Water Pro. Today we are at my house replacing yet another sprinkler. Uh, I am very, very handy for the content stream here at Water Pro. I'm always driving over sprinklers. Today's sprinkler slightly different. We weren't sure, we're not sure what's wrong with it. It's either got a broken shaft or the O-ring or the seal's damaged. So I'm gonna dig the whole thing up and just replace the whole thing and show you how to do that. Hopefully it helps you if you get stuck in the same situation. If it doesn't, don't hesitate to send us the questions through either via DM, email, give us a call, comment, all that jazz. Anyway, hope this helps. All right, so as you can see here, we've got a lot going on with the sprinkler. There's water spraying out here and the nozzle isn't really doing what it's supposed to do. So we're going to dig this up again and replace it with a sprinkler, hopefully for the last time. So the first thing we need to do to get this sprinkler sorted out is to remove all the soil around it. I've got a wheelbarrow with me here today to, cap to, to capture all this soil. The reason we're doing this now is I'm gonna re be replacing this, well not replacing, but I'm gonna be replanting some Tiff Tough sod here or some instant Tiff Tough in one final attempt to get this area looking good. The thing with the Tiff Tough is it's gonna to need to be watered quite regularly. So we might be watering it three or four times a day just to keep it wet as the root zone takes hold. And Adelaide's had some 37, 38 degrees Celsius weather lately. So if we don't have the sprinkler working properly, we're not gonna be able to water that. Now, it's been okay up, up until now. I've kind of been able to deal with it, but something's going on here. And I I think I've run over it with a lawnmower. It's also you know, in a high traffic area. This is the way people go to, to walk up the stairs. So. We'll get it replaced and um, get all these sprinklers dialed in and then we can replace this lawn and we should be good. So like I said, get rid of all the, you know, see this is a good example. We don't need, we don't want that in our lawn. <coughs> it's a rock of some sort, some cement. There's still some form work here as well from when we did the concrete. So, you know, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea for me to, to remove that timber. The problem is if I remove it there, I'm gonna have to remove it all the way, so. But if I don't remove it, we're gonna have some issues with the lawn. Anyway, back to the sprinkler. So we're gonna get all the dirt out the way while whilst being careful not to damage any of the pipes. So there should be some poly pipe along one of these sides. I might have to take some more of that out. See, I'm hitting rubble now. So that's from the concrete prep. There we go, so there's some poly pipe there, which I haven't damaged, which is good. Damaging poly pipe <coughs> so close to two uh, cement slabs could be a real pain um, because there's, if you have a look there, there's actually pipe there and there's pipe there. If I broke that, I'm gonna have to try and get a joiner in there. So really important to take extra care when you're digging out around a sprinkler. The time that you take, the extra time that you take when you're clearing this out, even if you use your hands <coughs> or if you use one of your kids or, um, I don't know if you don't have kids, the neighbor's kids, go steal some something small, a shovel, uh, and you can dig out around this sprinkler. And trust me, it'll be worth that extra time because replacing, like if we break any of this pipe now, uh, it's gonna be a real pain. And I probably won't do it today. I'll lose my shit and disappear. So, should be able to just undo that. So I'm just taking the top off at the moment. So one thing about <coughs> most sprinklers that's really handy is in a lot of cases, you can keep that base canister in and just replace this. I don't know what's wrong with this sprinkler. I assume either the seal's damaged or the shaft is damaged because there was water spraying out of the side. So what I'm gonna do is just give this a, a clean off and try and see if I can identify what's wrong with it. If I can find that it's this part that's broken and not the canister, I won't need to replace, I don't know where I put the other sprinkler. I won't need to replace the whole sprinkler. All I'll need to do is replace this. If it was a case that I just had to replace this, I wouldn't have had to dig it up as much. I could have actually just taken this out. The risk is if you just take this out and you haven't dug it up and you do find that it is the canister that's broken, you're gonna be digging the canister out anyway and there's risk of getting dirt in there one really important thing don't get dirt in there see here we've got some dirt here we don't want that getting in there the nozzle that we've got on here is a rainbird r van they're <coughs> sensitive but not super sensitive uh but if you had say a hunter mp rotator 
and you've got dirt in it, you're gonna have some issues trying to get that dirt out. And in a lot of cases, you'll be replacing the sprinkler head. So that canister doesn't look damaged at all. I just put more dirt in it after telling you not to. So I'm just gonna go give this a wash and then we'll see what it looks like. Oh, there's a sink right here. Oh. Don't think this sink's ever been used to wash any dishes. So <coughs> these, I've taken the nozzle off of the shaft. You can now take that apart and then you can take the spring off and then all of that is available for you to look at. So it doesn't really look like there's anything wrong with any of this. Uh, it's really interesting that it was spraying out the sides and I'm fearful that it's it's not the, the seal here. The seal's quite hard. You'll find, oh, that's a rainbird. Uh, I was hoping to replace it with one that I had in the backyard. I found this in my backyard before. This is a hunter. So I was hoping to be able to take this canister and put that in there. Uh, they are not compatible. So I'm gonna see if I've got any rainbird bodies lying around that I can use, otherwise we'll just replace the whole thing. So this one's got a fitting snapped off in it. I have a feeling that it might be fine, but then I need to get the fitting out. Oh, there we go. Which you can do using a pair of scissors. <laughs> so you see what I'm doing there, I'm getting that fitting out. This thing doesn't look in any better condition. It actually looks like it's in worse condition. I think in the interest of doing this right, do it right first time, we'll just replace the whole thing with a hunter body. Uh, at least we know the hunter body's brand new and I'll put a new Rainbird head on the body. Obviously, we've talked about this before. They're interchangeable. You can put uh, Arvan heads on or Rainbird heads on Hunter bodies, Hunter heads on Rainbird bodies. Let's go do that. Now, <clears throat> we want to try and get as much of that dirt out of the way. There we go. That's what this is for. So when I unscrew this sprinkler um, case off of that fitting, I don't want that thread to have any dirt fall into it. So we really want to make sure that we're reducing or removing all of this surrounding dirt so that I can just take that canister off and there's no chance of any of this falling in. Hopefully that's enough. Lefty Lucy. Is that a thing? That's a thing. Is that a thing in England? Yeah, that's a thing in England. Righty tidy. <coughs> Alright, so that's come off. And you can see that thread's completely clean. I really don't know what was causing this to leak. Like it doesn't look cracked anywhere. But you saw how much water was coming out of it. So I'm thinking it was probably the, the rubber, the O-ring. So we carefully put the new sprinkler back on. No thread tape. You don't put thread tape on sprinkler threads when you're connecting them to a threaded fitting because they don't need it. And if you do, you've got the risk of that thread tape getting into the, into the sprinkler and damaging the internals, especially on gear drives. Now, I'm checking the, that white line. So that white line is the side of the spray. So at the moment, it's going to spray, what does it open out to the right? So that should be on the left. So that white line, I believe, should be around here, running down this concrete edge which I've done. Now, you can hear I'm cracking the shaft. That's fine. That noise 
is not anything breaking. And I'm going to pop that up. GoPros are waterproof here. So, as you can see, I was right with that left-hand side. It's running down there, probably, like that line's definitely parallel to the cement. Now, with the Rainbird, it's really easy to just grab the head and turn it around to where you want it to water, which I'm gonna do that. So you can see that we've got that 90 degree stream and I'll just let go of it and then just adjust as required. So I'm gonna bring that back a bit and I'm just looking at what's getting wet. Really happy with that. Uh, I was hoping that would be easy and would look good on camera. So yeah, now if you have a look at the rest of the area, the sprinklers are all doing close to what they need to do. There's one that's jammed right down on that right hand side, it's not turning. That's another lawnmower special thanks to me. So we'll try and find a nozzle for that uh, and get that sorted out today as well. That's easily just, that's simply just screwing that off and screwing it on. I'm gonna turn this off now because I don't want the area to get too wet because we're about to replace this lawn, uh, this area. We're about to plant some lawn where I'm watering and that will make it a little bit hard. So finally, what I'm going to do is pack this in and just bring that sprinkler out. So if you have a look, the sprinkler's not pointing straight up. I just want to get some stuff behind there, get some, some soil behind there and hold that when I backfill this. I won't backfill it now because I'm going to dig some more area out and it just it's not, not much point. Uh, and then that's it. You don't have to do anything more than that. So that's how you replace a broken sprinkler, long form. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. If you've got any questions or comments regarding this or anything else, Irrigation, Water Pro are a company that are here to help. Obviously, we do sell irrigation and that's how we make our money. Uh, but we believe that the best way to help you make the right decision is to give you content like this and answer your questions and then it gives you the ability to, to buy the things that you need. So if you do have any questions or comments, stick them in the comments section. Um, we'll try our best to answer them. And if we don't, we'll try and find someone that can. That's it. Keep it green.